Hold on this one. And I did it. And I was surrounded by farmers and uh, developers, builders that build houses and others. And they never cried. They're very strong people. They never cried a day in their life. They were almost all crying. I said, what was this big, strong guy? What was the last time you cried? I can't remember, sir. I gave them back their life. You know, that took away, right? That took away, that took away their life. And what we did in Minnesota with the iron ore, people came up to me, they said, you gave us back our life. Obama wrote it out. Iron ore, the best in the world. He wrote it out. We gave it back to them. We went up to Maine. We gave them back their lobsters. We gave them back their fishing. Five thousand square miles. Think of what that is. Take one mile, mile by mile, and now you add five thousand. As big as the ocean is, that was a big chunk right off the coast of Maine. The whole thing is like lobsters and fishing, and nobody does it better. And they were not allowed. It was a monument called a monument. I said, a monument to what? I said to the, when I was up in Maine two weeks ago, I said, I said to people that their whole life was lobster, fishing, you know, the different things, and they're the best. I said, what happened? He said, they, he took away our, took away our everything. I said, how does this area compare to other areas? He said, first of all, it takes a long time to get to the other areas. This is so big. But second of all, this is the best there is in the world. And he doesn't let us use it. And I said, and yet you vote Democrat. And it's hard to believe. <laughs> it's like uh, Israel. Look what I did for Israel. Thank you. But it's amazing to me because nobody's been worse to Israel than President Obama and Biden. Nobody. Nobody's been worse. Look at the Iran deal. It's the worst thing that ever happened to Israel. And they never moved the embassy to Jerusalem, thereby making Jerusalem the capital.